Welcome Trent, and guess who I found on the Trent TV sofa? It is Alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, guys, thank you very much for coming to Trent. So, um, what do you think of our lovely venue? It's good. It's a it's, big room. Yeah. I hope there'll be loads of people filling it out. Yeah, it's quite unusual, actually. It looks like uh, somewhere you would have, you know, exams and stuff. <laughs> yeah. And tests. Well, surprisingly enough, it used to be a swimming pool. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, right. So, how's your tour going so far? I've heard some great reviews. Yeah, it's actually almost... We're quite gutted because it's, quite, it's, it's almost over now. This is yeah. the... Second sim- last. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. But it's been great. It's been sold out almost every single night, and it's been so much fun. So awesome! So I heard you earlier on. Um, so what's your se- uh, secret? Because you sound amazing out there. Is it because you've been together for a while? Is it the Danish accents? I don't know. What was? The, what's your <laughs> secret? I I think uh, I think when you've played together, we've been together for six years. You start, you know, you start playing together as a band, and not really just. And that thing, and that we have an amazing songwriter and our guitarist, and it's fun looking. And um, yeah, and then we don't really try to, when we play, we don't, you know, it's not like listen to me, we try to sound mm-hmm. like a band, and I think that's an important thing. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, what would you class your music genre as? Quite a quick, big we question just, mark on that one. No, not really. We, we actually just, we try to say that we just play pop music, because um, that's just, that's what we think so yeah. we don't want to say like Steve is always saying like we don't play we don't play disco pop or electric I, I heard um, wonky pop was uh, one of pop, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think people made up that sub genre because that you know that we play pop music but we're not you know there's loads of other pop acts that you know that maybe you wouldn't feel as if we were similar to them so yeah. I think people created that wonky pop thing because they feel as if we're not a part of the other pop thing that is the manufactured pop. Manufactured pop. Yeah, because you guys just sound, well, amazing for a pop group. So, um, <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> here's that. So, um, so, what are your plans for now? Uh, once your tour is over, is your fantastic music going to go to a new direction? Um, it might go to another direction. We're uh, hope, hoping to go home for Christmas. That's the first thing. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> Uh, after that, uh, yeah, we're hoping to get into a studio next year and to try some new stuff. We're trying new songs in the set, and uh, it's developing. It's still pop music, but it's uh, developing a lot. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, fantastic. Um, so, any festivals this summer coming? Or we actually have no. <coughs> we haven't really looked at festivals yet. No. So, uh, but I think everything is being booked in January, February. So, mm. we know in a couple of months. But we we definitely want to do some because. This year was really, really good for us, so yeah. definitely. So what would you say was the, the pinnacle point of where you became a low-key band into this kind of like massive phenomenon that's taking over the world? <laughs> I don't know if we've taken over I the think world. A couple, of, a couple of days ago when Stina were, was on Never Mind the Buscocks. Oh, yeah. That was the pinnacle. Yeah, I think that was it. Now we're going big time. We, no. You're going to America and doing everything. <laughs> yeah. No, for us it's been small steps and it's been like a natural development. It hasn't been like all of a sudden it all happened because we've been working for this for six years and yeah, taking small steps. So it's good for us. That's fantastic. I wish you best. Um, so as you know, students, we always like to travel. Would you, how would you best sell Denmark to students that might be going backpacking during the summer? We have really, really beautiful people in Denmark. <laughs> like yourselves? No, no, nothing like that. But it is actually. Every, everyone that we, you know, talk to that, who's been to Denmark, yeah. they're always like... They agree. Yeah, so it's, not, it's, it's something that people have told us. We, we you know, we didn't, we didn't really know. But now... The girls people, in particular, they're, they're really pretty. Yeah. So you should go and see some Danish girls. And Copenhagen <laughs> is a yeah. really, really good city. Yeah, it's like a big, big small town. Yeah. Yeah. It's got everything you need, but it's not too big you can take your bicycle and ride everywhere you want to so what do you think of europe especially the uk in general we like we like the uk very much we actually live in london and we've done that for a year now so yeah so there's a reason why we still live there because we think it's it's brilliant to live there so um, once your tour's over are you going back home or will you be staying over here then in that case we're actually staying yeah we're staying for (laughs) yeah Indefinitely, we yeah. Yeah, exactly. We're living here as far as long as it's fun and as long as we have work to do here, so yeah. who knows? As long as people want to hear our music. So, Alphabet, an awesome name, where did it come from? Um, um. We, had, <laughs> we had, like, every, every band, we had, you know, 
20 names when we started and yeah. then we got this we got our danish record deal and we were just and the label they were like oh, you have you have to get a name yeah. because we have to release the record <laughs> with some name and um we started i think actually we used like six months or something to find a, a, a proper name and um we actually just wanted something with the alphabet in it uh, because we've just thought that there's a lot in the alphabet with the letters and it just it sounds cool and um but we couldn't find anything with alphabet no so our bass player came up with a brilliant idea to call it alphabet yeah. and i hated it as, at first yeah. actually yeah but uh, then it's like it's, it's that kind of name when you're out you know out drinking or something and people go uh, oh what, what's your what's your band called you say alphabet they don't ask again that's like that you know that <laughs> then you know it's a good name yeah yeah they know it you know from the first time you tell it yeah, you can't really get mixed up with anyone else, can you? Yeah. Well, um, thank you very much, guys. I hope tonight goes well. Um, I hope to see you guys very, very soon and um, keep us all posted. Thank you very much from Trent TV and Trent Student Union. Thank you.